Hi, and welcome back to Point and Do, where we provide insight into the next generation of user interfaces. I'm Jonathan Brill. For the better part of a year, Apple has been releasing gesture-based trackpads with great fanfare. These are patches to a solution that never really worked, though, so I don't understand why Apple doesn't just install iPhone touchscreens into MacBooks, like this. Without visual feedback, gestures are difficult to learn and they're fantastically frustrating when they don't work. Apple's current gesture library is really mere gimmickry, replacements for existing keyboard commands that no one used in the first place. If Apple isn't going to provide real value, it shouldn't waste consumer dollars on hardware. More ergonomic, more efficient pointing devices like the mouse, the ThinkPad's track point, and styluses outperform trackpads on almost every metric. Not only that, the MacBook Touch works within tech marketing's holy trinity. It's technologically feasible, it's cost efficient, and it's desirable. It's technologically feasible using Apple's current hardware platforms, iPhone touch screen and display, video cards that support 30-inch external monitors, a 5-hour battery. The enclosure can even be refitted to, for the equipment. It's cost efficient. Based on iSupply's June 2008 teardown of the iPhone, all equipment would cost about $50. It's desirable. The Nintendo DS's popularity has proven that the form factor is compelling. Well-designed touchscreen apps shrink learning time and increase advanced feature usage. The net-net not only is it cool, it increases efficiency. Apple will sell a lot of hardware. More importantly, it will spur a renaissance in software sales. It's not just fanboys who shell out an extra hundred dollars for meaningful innovation. Enterprise customers do too. The security of Unix, combined with worker efficiency, will be a high-value proposition as we move into recession. Steve Jobs, you're a smart guy. This is clearly on your product roadmap, so why are you holding back on innovation and trying to stick customers with gimmickry instead of providing real value? Thanks for tuning in, and as always, please leave your comments.